This gospel passage is one of my favorites, uh, and uh, it's one of my favorites because it really allows us to really look in our, in our hearts and ask ourselves, how is it that I'm living my life, right? Because the people of the whole, there upon the whole town came out to meet Jesus. And you would assume, we would think, that they're coming out to meet Jesus to thank God and to praise God because the two demoniacs were healed. But they come to meet Jesus to beg him to leave their district because he sent out the demons into the swine and the swine all fell or they, they ran to their death by drowning. Obviously, uh, immediately our first response or our first kind of red flag is, why would these people care? I mean, they're Jews, they don't eat pork, so why, who, who cares? Well, the Gadarenes is an area of, Gentile, uh, of Gentiles, basically. And so think for a moment that it's December 24th, y no tienen el lechón para la nochebuena becomes a problem. Their livelihood is out the window. And the reason I say that it, it's good to really take an inventory of our heart is because do we see, how do we see the world? How do we see Jesus? Do we see Jesus with the eyes of faith? Really noticing the graces, noticing the, the beauty of who God is? that we see the goodness of the world where we see that the healing of the demoniacs? Or are we begging him to leave our district, to leave our town because you just caused an economic downfall? In every moment of our day, we have a choice to see exactly like these people, exactly like this town in the area of the Gadarene. In every moment of our day, we have an option to see the blessing or to see it as a curse. And it gets really difficult to put this into practice when a couple miles away, we're still suffering a loss of life with a collapse of a building. It's really hard. How do we see the blessing? How do we see the goodness? If you figure it out, let me know. Because I don't have answers. What I do have, I freely give, and that's Jesus Christ. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. If there's one thing for certain, is that the Lord does not abandon us. Whether we like to see everything in the lens of blessing or whether we like to see everything with the lens of curse, the Lord does not abandon us. Whether we are like Sarah and we are jealous of one son and proud of the other, the Lord does not abandon us. And the Lord does not abandon the son who she kicks out. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Even in the midst of our own poverty, even in the midst of our own poverty of soul, where we just see everything with curse, or through the lens of curse, instead of seeing it with the lens of blessing, the Lord is still present. It becomes a moment and an act of faith to surrender to our Father and to entrust our lives and our will to His perfect will. Maybe the Lord will get, grant us the grace to understand this side of heaven. But most probably it's not going to happen. If that's the case, then we trust. And it's an act of complete trust. And we continue to ask for the grace to see the world, to see our lives through the lens of blessing. Is it hard? Yes, but it's definitely necessary. Because the world doesn't need more pessimists. The world needs more optimists.
and that optimism is rooted in the resurrection of Jesus. We know that death doesn't have the final word. Death is just a little bit louder every now and then. But death does not have the final word. The resurrection of Jesus is where our hope needs to be and is needs to uh, the resurrection of Jesus is where our hope is. We don't hope in somebody who just saw another idea or anything. No, we hope in a person who suffered, died, and rose from the dead. Who comes to us. And all we need to do is ask. Because the Lord hears the cry of the poor. My dear brothers, as we continue our life, as we approach one week of this tragedy in our hometown, as we continue to try to understand life. Let's ask for the grace of the Holy Spirit to bestow upon each and every one of us the lens of faith that we may see everything with the eyes of faith. That all those things where we may see that there's no hope, that there's despair, that there's just utter destruction may we be that we may be able to focus in on the fact that Jesus Christ is present and that the Lord is never far away from those who love him because the Lord hears the cry of the poor